Book Radio. Mm. I didn't forget. I was listening to a little book of that radio. On my, on my way in from yesterday. Yeah. Book Radio. Stupid Book Radio. Welcome to Book Radio. Good morning, everybody. Book Radio. Book Radio. <laughs> book Radio. Book Radio. Book Radio. Oh, I thought you were doing that live. I was. I was looking was at me you from yesterday. That's fucked up. That was one of my outbursts from yesterday. Book Radio. Book Radio. Book Radio. I was looking down here and I thought you said that live, so I decided to go with it, have a little chemistry with you. But now I'm just fucking having chemistry with the recording. With a tape. I would. Um, if I was book radio, though, what I would do yeah. is uh, make that a promo. It'd be like, like, hey, I'm Anthony Cumia, and every day I listen to book radio, book yeah. radio, book radio, <laughs> book radio, book radio, book, book, book radio. Hey, Anthony Cumia, what's your favorite station? Book radio. See, I would do that if I was them. Boy, people around here must be bored if they're coming up with channels called book radio. Yes. Yeah. Hi, I'm Sam Roberts, and what show is better than my shit show? Book Radio! Yeah, why don't you use that? Unnecessary. <laughs> Unnecessary. Yeah. Was, was that a real picture? <laughs> Me, Anthony, Sean Hannity, and Rob Bartlett all in the same photograph? That was the Imus thing. What Imus thing? At the Hard Rock. Kiss oh, really? Me, I'm Imus. That's on Book Radio's Facebook page. Book Radio! Book Radio! Oh, wow. I almost brought in a really thick book today. <laughs> yeah. But we're too busy to do the bit today. That would just be great to just read a book for four hours. I got on a the <laughs> I got the latest Stephen King uh novel. It's called uh November twenty second, nineteen sixty three, I think. Is it macabre? I don't know. From the master of macabre. It, it looks too intimidating to open up. Is it? Yeah, it's like it's this. It's just thick. a thick one. A big, fat, thick one. That's why I love... Uh, are people still using Kindles? Because I use mine. I love it because yeah, you, you don't just... really know how intimidating the book is. <laughs> oh, you know what? I never even realized that. Because sometimes, yeah, a big book is like, yeah, I read a big, thick there's, book. There's so many books I, I have not read in my lifetime because they look just too intimidating on the bookshelf. They're too thick and stuff. When you see one of those books, someone suggests a book, right? Yeah. You go to the library or, or Barnes & Noble, when we used to have Barnes <clears> & Noble. <throat> And you look at it and you go, oh, I could get through that. Yeah, that's okay. It got big font, got pictures in the middle. <laughs> nice. These Stephen King novels, though, holy shit, they yeah. sit there like big, huge bricks. Is this what the morning radio sounds like on book radio? Book radio! Book radio! Because <laughs> we are, you know, they're talking books here. Yeah. We're talking books on the morning show. We, we certainly are. Eh. We have to compete with book radio, obviously. Well, I yeah. Don't, I don't really understand why the stock's so low with with channels like Book Radio, man. You it's would on think, its way up. You would think this fucking <clears throat> what? It's on its way up that stock because of things like Book Radio and really? the poster of Book Radio Lady out front. <laughs> really? I would think so. What's the stock up to? Um, Two ten. Oh, uh, something like that. I thought I thought um, yesterday was one of those afternoons. Like we 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 took it as far as we could yesterday, <laughs> and I'm like, all right, I'm going home, and I know I have to deal with problems now. That's the other side of what we do. Yeah. Every once in a while, we have to deal with problems because we go too far with the company. <laughs> and I just sat there waiting for the phone to ring, and certainly it rang, and it was our uh, agent there. And I'm like, here it is. They they, they gave him a oh. talking to, and now he has to relay it to, to me. Oh, what would he call for? Because he left me a message. I didn't get back to him. Oh, other stuff. Was it anything bad? No, good. Good stuff. Mm. Oh, really? Mm. Future looks bright, my friend. Mm. All right. I want to get those sunglasses. Mm. <clears throat> oh, <everyone>. boy. <laughs> uh, for, <laughs> it sounds like a for everyone. Is it just like a Sam is like, you are, thing? Or? You're like the captain on that fucking Italian cruise boat, <laughs> yeah. you scumbag. Yeah. Yeah, we're, uh, we're leaving the sinking ship, and we're leaving all you fuckers behind <laughs> to drown in the 50-degree water. Water. Uh, sounds like just me. Me, me, get me off of this fucking thing. Take me. It's dark. I'm scared. But I thought it was a phone call, you know, because, you know, we bitched a little too much about the, the company yesterday. But yeah, but I think we were well within our uh, means, as they say. Oh, it was all in good fun. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It was all just a bit. No, it wasn't. No. For the uh, for the show. For the for the show. No, it wasn't. No, it's it. It, it says a lot. Yeah, the whole poster thing. It speaks volumes, as we said. <laughs> book oh, radio. Wow. I got questioned a lot about book radio yesterday, and By what who? said, and people. Oh like, no! One lady who produces the lady. What's her name? I don't remember. Hey, her name. lady. Book radio lady has a producer for her. 
interview oh. half hour show. Oh my god, she's a producer, and the producer was like questioning you. She and she came in and said, "Hey, oh thanks for the publicity today." And blah blah blah. I think their shows should be like the first show of the morning should be the uh. forward. It's like, hey, <laughs> welcome to the forward. And then there's like, well, you know, I'm chapter, you know, this. And then the the last show, the overnight, could be the epilogue. Yeah. Well, yeah. Wait, what did she say to you? I should thank you. Well, her and what did you say back to her? Her words were, thanks for the pub. As in publicity. And know what I would have uh, said? What? Leave me alone, four eyes. <laughs> you was, bookworm. You bookworm. <laughs> she did have glasses on. Hey, it's bookworm in the morning with you. That would be a good, wacky morning guy. Leave me alone, you, you, you reader. Yeah. And then Jane Radio was tweeting me all day as if it's like, we're not, it's not about you anymore. Now we're talking about book I radio. I saw that, too. Yeah. She's like, hi, guys. If you want me on to explain that. I'm like, no. <laughs> You were just like uh, in the way. We thought we, you were we, book radio. We thought you were book radio. I don't give a fuck about Jane and her dumb uh, radio. What's Jane radio? I don't know. It's like book radio, except Jane does it. Book radio. It's novel. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. I would fucking go with this. I should be producing that channel. Mm -hmm. I'm brilliant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that was yesterday, I guess. Yeah. Uh, the one thing that I failed to do yesterday was tweet the picture of the poster they want to put up. Do we still have that? Oh, right. Oh, the, man. the proofs, Opie. The, the proofs. Where these idiots photoshopped. Once again, I'm the victim of photoshopping. You really are. The famous story of when we first came to XM and they decided that I wasn't smiling properly in one of these photos because they loved Anthony in this one photo because he, uh, yeah. he had an eyebrow up. Yeah, meanwhile, I had more f r fucking makeup on than Ronald Reagan. Yeah. And, uh, but they it, couldn't it get enough. Look like they couldn't get get enough of the look you had, where you had yeah. the eyebrow up, which is pretty impressive because I don't think I can move one eyebrow. up. Oh, it rivaled way. fucking Spock. It was amazing. Me, I was way up there. And, and and so they decided that I wasn't smiling properly in that photograph. So what they were going to do was take up my my uh, my head from another photograph, and then they were going to open my eyes real wide. Because here's something: when I smile, my eyes close. I look like a Chinaman. <laughs> it's always been that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they didn't like that, smile. so they're like, "Well, we need the smile. We need Anthony's eyebrow, and we need your eyes uh, more open." Thank God, I'm great at Photoshop, and this guy says, and I, I looked at him. I go, "Do not fucking Photoshop shit." I could do better goes, no, in no, Microsoft don't. Paint yeah. than this guy did in fucking Photoshop. Yeah, he goes, "Don't worry about it. I, I'm, I'm really good at this." Turns out. He makes my eyes too wide, <laughs> and he fucking didn't match up the neck, so I have a giraffe neck in the famous publicity photo. Yeah, you have like two Adam's apples. <laughs> yeah, the first photo <laughs> that we were going to put out to the world after <laughs> us sitting on the beach for two and a half years. Yeah. For yeah. being fired. Good one. So I'm a victim again because they decide to Photoshop this, pi this picture they took at the Hard Rock Cafe. <clears throat> it's actually Anthony's arm going across his chest. But now yeah, I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of like got my arm across my midsection. Look how big my and fucking neck is. That's <laughs> hilarious. What a fucking idiot. Just because they had, had a great eyebrow shot. You look like a curious lemur. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would be, huh? What? I would be 6'2 <laughs> if that was a real fucking. Yeah. Picture of me. <laughs> That's oh, hilarious. Look like you. No, no, because they do. they opened my eyes too. Yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> so uh, Ann has his arm across his body, but now they have to squish us into the uh, this picture to, so they can make a poster out of it. So now it looks like it's my arm holding Anthony lovingly. Yeah. No, you got to get the the one they made. Yeah, the cropped I know, I one. That. That's uh, yeah, that's the one. Well, we got to find it. Where is it? Someone's got it. He's got, he had a hard copy of it yesterday. Summer really suits me. I'm very tan right there. Yeah. Look at me. Yeah. I'm all fucking. I'm all ripped. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. You want to jerk off to your own picture? I should. <laughs> My favorite part of yesterday was yeah. when he presented the picture, yeah. and you made everybody stop joking and said, "No, really, really, why the fuck would you show me this?" Oh man, yeah. <laughs> oh, what am I? What was I supposed to do? He looks like he should be bookworm in the morning, <laughs> listening to bookworm you know and four eyes in the morning on book radio. Okay. Okay. You know what I hate though when it becomes <laughs> real and I look right into the guy's eyes and and, and lifeless eyes like a doll's eye. It looks like he's gonna squirt. I'm like, you're going to squirt? Yeah. You're going to squirt? Bounce the basketball off his head. <laughs> Looks like he's going to cry. I'm like, oh, God. Uh, I got to tone this back, really? Yeah. Where's that picture, though? Because people want to see it. 
we'll have to take a picture of the hard copy because there is no. Yeah, I know. Well, t that's easy though. He should still have the All hard right, go. copy. I mean, he's not here yet. <laughs> he doesn't have an office, right? He's not that important. Watch. He's got to have a cubicle. Well, no, he shares an office. He's got a, it's one of those offices that two people are in. Shares an uh, office? What is this, college uh, dorm uh, fucking uh, bullshit they're pulling? Me and Ann have an office that we don't even see. Yep. Right. That could be his office. We staff our office with workers. <laughs> with, with working bees. Yes. That's our office. Well, anyway, we got to get that uh, pictures because people want to see it on, on Twitter and Facebook and all that. So on the Twitter. We forgot to do that yesterday. Yes. Did, did you